last game against TC, you got pretty physical. Um, you talked about the way Ashley was being guarded uh, after that game a lot. Um, do you anticipate something like that this Sunday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think it's probably uh, the most physical game I've sat in the bench and watched in a long time. I mean, TCU plays very, very hard. They play a physical style, um, a lot of pressure defense. So we've got to handle that a little bit better, and, and we've got to do the little things that uh, allow you to get shots. And, um, you know, we always talk about toughness travels and scouting report defense travels and all those things. So hopefully uh, that will be the case because uh, they're certainly a very, very good team, a team that will be a really tough out in the NCAA tournament. And uh, we're going to – we're going to see uh, kind of how we adjust. You know, we saw some of it in a different style, but we saw some of it Wednesday night against Texas, obviously. So hopefully we'll be a little more ready to go than we were uh, when they came up here. You have seen that style a lot this year and every year, really. But um, how do you think this team has grown in handling that over the course of the season? Um, this team's figuring it out. Um, obviously, uh, I get a lot of suggestions about cutting down our turnovers and, and, and we do turn the ball over a lot, way too much, drives me crazy. But this group is, is finding other ways to get through it. Um, statistically, we're, our turnover margin is, is awful and got to be coached a lot better. And we're trying to figure that out, but this group just keeps playing. Um, you know, there were plays in the Texas game that, you know, you didn't draw them up that way, but they're finding ways to get it done. and. Uh, we're finding ways to score. We're finding ways to guard. Um, we're, we're keeping our head above water rebounding wise. Uh, it's just trying to figure out a better way to, to give yourself more offensive opportunities is important. And this is certainly a game where if we don't do a, gr a great job of that or certainly a much better job of that than we've been doing, uh, you got no chance. Like you said, maybe fighting an uphill battle a little bit in terms of rebounding just because of size things. But defensively from the other night, what do you feel like really kind of underscored what you guys were able to do there that is maybe transferable or you yeah. know, can, can go in succession? No, you know, I, I think one of the gross of our team, and I think I think really it's, it's directly related to what AD's done with our team, is, is the last three games. I don't think it's a coincidence that we won and maybe played three of the best scouting report defensive games we've played. And, and when you do that, you give yourself a chance and, and, and it makes up for maybe some offensive inefficiencies, which, you know, as much as we keep talking about it, it's, it's not going to go away. I said in the staff meeting in December, we're going to be talking about certain things in March. And it's February and it's going to be March and we're still talking about them. And that, it's not going to change. So what, what, it, what can you make better instead of just sitting around complaining about what's bad? And for us, it's about um, – Getting, you know, when you get an opportunity to score, score, score in transition. Um, the live ball turnovers haven't been awful, but then it comes down to doing the hard stuff. Uh, do you defend? Do you rebound? Do you guard uh, in special situations? Uh, all that stuff, I, I do. I, I think that's been a huge part of uh, the last three games and giving us a chance when maybe offensively we're a little bit uh, erratic at times. Do you think you have? different team to face TCU this week in terms of, uh, you talked about the scouting report defense, but in that TCU game and a few of those early losses, they didn't hit shots down the stretch. Um, in the last three games, they definitely have. So No, we, we've made some really good plays. Uh, we've made winning plays at winning times, and in this league, um, that you know the, that's that's what's going to have to happen, and uh, you know, hopefully that's the case. Uh, you know, I, I, And for us, uh, I don't know that it's been a big deal home or away. It's just been kind of game to game. Um, but, you know, I think the, you know, making a shot here or there, making a free throw here or there, making some kind of play that impacts success is something that um, you have to continue to grow into. And, and I think, you know, with Ash and Kristen, you know, we have two really dynamic offensive players. Now it's just a matter of, you know, can we get them the ball? Can we make the right decisions? And then the willingness to take tough shots at tough times. You know, I think early some people were passing some stuff up. Um, you're not going to be wide open in this league very often. So you got to be willing to, to take that shot. And, and I think recently uh, we've, we've had kids that really have embraced that. And luckily we've made just enough of them. Thank you, everybody.